It's that easy. In seconds, your valuables gone and your car window shattered. Over the last five days, there's been approximately 17 burglaries here in Yuma County. These thieves are watching you when you leave the parking lot, checking for locked doors, breaking and shattering windows, and stealing your personal items. Our investigation came to a close after watching surveillance video identifying the license plate of the suspect's getaway car. Morning, Max. Well, I'm here in the Chili Pepper right now. They're preparing their breakfast, and as you mentioned, you know what? It's not just about the rides. It's honestly about the greasy, delicious food that we seriously can't get enough of and I mean look at all this bacon it's beautiful imagine waking up to a view like this earlier this morning a car hijack led authorities around town crashing into a family's backyard the Yuma Fire Department tells us that the 55 year old male was probably sleeping in a nearby dumpster by the Yuma Regional Medical Center that's when the garbage truck came to this dumpster to empty all the trash into the cargo compartment but little did he know the man was trapped inside. Look at down here. We got a little poker player here who wants to play a game really quick. So what's up? Can I get a hit really quick? There you go. Until 8 p.m. tonight, selling these tickets. Now take a look at how many tickets are in here. Joe, zoom in on this because I cannot believe how many people are here supporting our local victims who are dealing with any types of abuse. That's what Amberly's Place is all about. It's a family advocacy center. Still investigating the start of the fire. Now, what you're seeing on your screen is a little bit earlier today of the fire, but take a look right now. You're gonna see a big dark spot and you could actually see Imperial County Fire Department taking the very last of this fire, a little bit of the hot spots, really close to the Interstate 8 ramp. Now, something about this fire is it really could have been a big threat. Not only did it damage most of the vegetation and the habitat here, but it really affected the commute here as well. Popular apps like Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat to name a few, but it's also the video games kids play online where they become an easy target for an online predator. I feel a sudden jolt from my seat. I had no clue what just happened. A bus ride into a crash leaving several injured. My head hit the back of the bar that was you know, you that was the headrest. Madison, it's honestly a parent's worst nightmare, leaving your child at a stranger's home and not knowing what goes on when you're gone. The U.S. Homeland Security Department needs your help at home on taking a serial child molester down. Operation Predator, a program used by Child Exploitation Investigation Unit that found an IP address linked to 31-year-old Aaron Turk in Yuma with 500 images and videos of child pornography. Some of the videos that we found on his devices seem to have been filmed by him. Uh, sometimes you have people who are arrested for mere possession of pornography, but they're not producing it. In this case, uh, we had a uh, suspicion that he was producing, he was filming uh, or, and or taking pictures of his victims. His victims brought in by his girlfriend, who offered babysitting services online, sometimes at their home and sometimes someone else's. Anywhere where a website, uh, where a person can advertise themselves uh, out in the, in the media, meaning Facebook or any of the other platforms, uh, is how these people normally advertise. So whenever she was babysitting, sometimes he would be present. And uh, whenever she was not around for whatever reason, that's when he, has, he saw the opportunity to film those disc kits. We did some research on Facebook and found out Aaron Turk is actually familiar with online advertising, offering electrical services here in Yuma, being in the homes in our community and around our children. Uh, we have evidence that indicates that uh, that may not be the only place where he recorded videos. Okay. This business has been going on for multiple months already, so uh, the, the span of the videos uh, uh, it's, 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 it's not just a few weeks, we're talking about multiple months, so uh, it could be as, 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 as long as a couple years, but we're still uh, going through the evidence. Aaron Turk is currently in federal custody and appeared in court this morning. And according to Arizona child pornography laws, he could face up to 24 years per violation and even the possibility of losing custody of his one year old son that he has with his girlfriend. And as of right now, that girlfriend has not been charged. If you have any information, you could contact the Yuma Homeland Security at your screen. The number is right there or visit our website at KYMA.com. Reporting in the studio, Dallas Oniveros, News 11.
You know, one of the best things about the Yuma County Fair is not just the endless rides or all the local entertainment, but the endless amount of greasy, delicious food that we cannot get enough of. Well, we're actually um, getting prepped for um, fair opening up today. So we've got Warren here. He's um, slicing some of our uh, famous tri-tip. Um, it's our own recipe that we use for our tri-tip and um, a specialty. And I know that everybody, um, that's our biggest seller is our tri-tip. Throughout the whole week of the fair, JC Tri-Tips cooks anywhere from 500 to 1,000 pounds of meat. Tri-tip sandwiches right here. <laughs> Super juicy. Yeah, yeah. It's good, yeah. It's good, it's good, yeah. I'm already hooked, to be honest. <laughs> the tri-tip is to die for, but right next door is a chicken recipe that's lasted a lifetime. Over 50 years old, right? We're 50 to 60 years old, yes. Wow. These are our bags of chicken, and we'll set here, and we'll dip, dip them in our egg batter. We let them drain, and we put them in our seasoned flour. We let them set for a few minutes, and then we drop them in our fryer. Chicken nuggets, tenders, fries, the chicken shack is where it's at. We've yeah. done excellent. Last night, we were done by 8.30. We had everything sold out. And as usual, the fair isn't complete until you've had a classic corn dog or something jumbo to eat. Literally, wow. That's jumbo right there. That's jumbos, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and for the first time, turkey legs are on the menu. You know, when you come to the fair, you want something that normally you're not gonna eat every day. and You gotta treat yourself. Yeah, that's it. If you wanna come out here, this is what you're gonna get. Oh yeah, this is a real deal right here, guys. Yeah. So whether you choose the corn dogs or the chicken, the tri-tip, there's literally something for everybody here at the Yuma County Fair to try. Reporting from Yuma County Fair, Dallas Navarros, News 11. And we are now up to six suspects as of today in connection to the night of home invasions that killed 21 year old Leandre Richards early Sunday morning, four of which are teens as young as 15 years old. Yuma Police Department have confirmed six suspects in connection to the homicide that took Leandre Richards life away. Yesterday afternoon, we got 19 year old Daniel Contreras reference the homicide. We also arrested two 17 year old juveniles. They have all been booked into, into jail. We also have a 15 year old who is in our custody. He will be booked later on today. 19 year old Daniel Contreras was seen earlier in court today where he is facing up to five charges, including first degree murder and is set for a million dollar bail. The same as 21 year old Juan Torres, who was seen in court yesterday. According to the state prosecutor, it was a total of six suspects who allegedly went from home to home demanding for marijuana and money at gunpoint. They entered the residence, a 45-year-old uh, male was bound with duct tape, he was assaulted, uh, items were taken, and there was damage, all six suspects left. The case continues with both Daniel Contreras and Juan Torres in court next week, as well as one juvenile who was involved, who will be in court tomorrow afternoon. Many friends and family of Leandre Richards were in court today to hear the bail be set for Daniel Contreras. And during that time, two victims who were at the scene spoke briefly about the incident, expressing to the judge that Contreras should face that bail amount of $1 million and how nothing can replace the feeling of loss that they are going through right now. And for the 47-year-old woman who is the mother of Leandre, she is still in Phoenix in serious but in stable condition. Reporting in the studio, Dallas Navarro's News 11.